So Christmas, it, 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 what an amazing, uh, really amazing holiday. It, it took me a while, I think, when I emigrated to the United States to kind of get a, a handle on, on Christmas. It's, it's, not a, it's not an easy, I think, holiday to really grasp uh, when you're a foreigner it, it, because it's, it's, it's got this, uh, you know, obvious Christian connotation, which, which is, um, well, for me, it was off-putting, right? So it's got this whole notion of, of, of this is a Christian holiday, this is a celebration of Jesus, Jesus, I'm not a big fan of Jesus. So um, it took me a while to get that in America, and I think now in most of the modern world, Christmas has been, in a sense, in many regards, divorced from Christianity. Um, and uh, Christmas is, is, a, is, a, is a holiday that celebrates just goodwill between people and, and, uh, and cheerfulness and happiness and, and um, benevolence, right? This, this general sense, benevolence being just general sense of uh, goodwill uh, towards other people, the, the, the general idea in, in this context that other people are, are value to you or can be a value to you, and many of them are value to you. It's a very uh, materialistic holiday, which is kind of cool and secular and very non-Christian. It's, it's, it, there's, very, there's almost, I mean, here and there you see like a, 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 one of these scenes with uh, Jesus and, and I don't know, the, and, and it, but it's not, that's not the, the focus. The focus of the holiday is, is tree, Christmas trees with lots of lights, lots of lights, uh, and the colorful stuff, and uh, different people have different traditions around what should be on a Christmas tree. But there's Christmas trees in different uh, public spaces. The different the Christmas trees in in different uh, you know in the mall. There's in this of course Christmas trees in people's homes, and they often put them next to the windows so you get the lights out, uh, sharing that light and, and celebration with uh, with people around. Uh, and it's not just Christmas trees, there's decoration, and the decoration all have to do with light, with fun stuff, I guess. Um, for some of you, Christmas is cold. Uh, I've, you know, it's been a long, long time since I had a cold Christmas. <laughs> for me, Christmas is warm. Um, it's associated with sunshine. Uh, it's, I, I, God, if I ever, I'm sure I've had white Christmases probably when I lived in Boston, uh, but that's, that's uh, uh, more than 40 years ago. Um, but I, I can't remember, if we, maybe we went on vacation to like a ski resort on Christmas, so maybe I've had a white Christmas. But mostly it's, uh, it's warm, it's lights, uh, presents, um, decoration, Lots of food, good food, uh, and uh, you know, often uh, getting together with friends, hanging out. Uh, for many of you, I'm sure it's getting together with family. Hopefully, you like your family. That is uh, that is kind of a prerequisite for having a good Christmas is to get together with people you actually like. I encourage you to do that. By the way, if you if you if you're getting together with people you don't really like, then don't do it. That, that sounds like a sacrifice. It's, um, it, it, in that sense, the whole idea of, 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 of a tree is very much a, a um, not a very, very Christian thing. Again, the tree is, is more of a, a pagan thing. It was a celebration of the evergreen, of the, of the survival of, um, of life, of the continuation of life in spite of the horrors of, I don't know, Northern European winters. And, and you, you celebrate the fact that they are still green. There's still life in spite of the, of the, of the horrors outside. But, but so Christmas, in terms of the season that it's celebrated in, in terms of many of the customs that go back hundreds of years, is very much a, a, one of these holidays that the Christians stole from 
the, the pagans and uh, originally from from uh, pagans in Rome, but then uh, you know they picked up different different habits from different pagans in different parts of um, of Europe. Uh, and Christmas is really, I mean, Jesus wasn't necessarily born now. Uh, I, I think. T- well, anyway, there's no proof he was born uh, during this month. It, it's much more about, uh, you know, this is this is uh, the beginning of the winter, and 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 uh, there are celebrations to our pagan, the pagan world around uh, the beginning of winter. Uh, they are um, the, the, much of how we celebrate Christmas today is a creation of 19th century uh, capitalism in in the United States. Uh, the, the the Santa Claus uh, making a big deal out of Santa Claus, the gift giving, uh, but including the lights and all of that, it was very much a marketing tool to sell stuff, and to get people's attention and to bring them into the store and and to this day, right? There's a Santa in the mall, and you take your kids to get a picture with Santa, and and uh, the the lots of lights, and of course there's sales, and uh, and and the sales continue from. Thanksgiving all the way to uh, Christmas and we all do or most of us do shopping during this period not just to buy gifts but also for ourselves so it really is a season of celebration of uh, benevolence of lights of commercial enterprise of buying stuff of materialism uh, in that sense of, uh, of of just a good time uh, parties and with lots of food and uh, and and on top of that, if you if you will, the, the spiritual element of Christmas is not a spiritual element of Christmas is not uh, the element of Christmas you know that's 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 Christian. It, it's not about sacrifice and humility and uh, and and penance penance and 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 all of that. Uh, really, the spiritual element of Christmas, the spiritual dimension of Christmas, has really become uh, this appreciation of a friendship, a appreciation of family that you love. It's an appreciation of of other people. It's a it's a you know the spiritual side of it is a spiritual side of camaraderie, friendship, love, uh, and, and 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 being able to be together with people that you love like. Uh, during the season, and and that of course is all uh, mostly uh, spiritual pleasure, right? And uh, it's again, it's a it's it's very secular. It's in that sense very it's very rational. It's focused on your values. It's very egoistic, uh, in the sense that people people go out there and they buy stuff for themselves. They buy stuff they they like, or they buy stuff for people they like. People they love, people they care about, uh, and uh, and it's it's so it, it, here's a holiday that's um, celebratory, uh, focused on joy, uh, and focused on on other people and the value other people represent to you, the value other people represent in your life, uh, and, and and focused on both spiritual and material uh, well being. Jonathan, thank you uh, for the support. Uh, Jonathan, who did a fantastic show with me, was it two nights ago? Two days ago? Yeah, just about pets. Uh, so if you're interested at all in, in, in the value of pets and in kind of an objectivist perspective on the value of pets, uh, uh, Jonathan uh, recounted many stories from his book, which is, is, uh, is, is available now, Make a Great Christmas Present maybe already a New Year's present. I'm not sure if it'll arrive by Christmas, but you can get it. Although you can get it on a Kindle, you can buy yourself a present um, or, or download the audio. Although I recommend the hard copy because it's got lots of fantastic, lots of fantastic um, photos of Ayn Rand with her cats, of Leonard Peikoff with his dogs, uh, particularly uh, Kiki, his, his, uh, the dog that passed away, uh, I think it's now a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, some essays by Lena Peikoff and, and some quotations from Ayn Rand. So a, a, a fantastic book, fantastic gift, and uh, you should all go back and listen to the episode I did with Jonathan where we discussed this. And, uh, and, then, and, and what you get is also Jonathan's excitement and, and passion 
for his own uh, uh, dog that he has now and dog that he had, dogs that he had in his past, all the way back to his childhood. So that was a fun, benevolent, you know, uh, show. Um, all right. Um, so uh, let's see. W w John says there was no sun god. There was no sun god. Twelve twenty-five holidays until the Phoenician calendar of 354 this was after the christians started celebrating 1225 as jesus's birth i have uh, no comment but 1225 by by all historical historical accounts is not when jesus was born um, but uh, you know there are lots of other there are lots of other uh, pagans uh, you know and 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 it's not that the particular date is what matters. It's 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 a particular season, just like Easter happens to be uh, in the same season that you have. Uh, you know, Christmas happens to be in exactly the same season the Jews have uh, Hanukkah, and 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 uh, Easter happens to be in the same season the the, the Jews and the pagans celebrate um, uh, the beginning of the spring. And uh, you know, it, it's not a coincidence. These, these are holidays that mankind, these are periods of time, the, end, the beginning of winter, uh, the beginning of the spring. These are holidays that mankind has always celebrated and the Christians piggybacked off of it. And that's not a slam on Christianity. They probably had no clue when Jesus was born. They had to pick a date. They picked a date when other people were in, in about the same area where other people were celebrating as well. Uh, you know, and where they were used to celebrating. After all, the first Christians were Jews. And, uh, and as a consequence, it was easy to pick a date that also coincided with holidays that they had been, um, uh, that, that was celebrated uh, in, um, in Judaism. Um, so yeah. I don't know what particular uh, uh, pagans uh, they took this from. I'm sure the historians, um, I'm sure the historians can debate this and figure this out, but uh, I have no idea. Um, But it, there's no question that things like Santa Claus are not Christian. The things like a Christmas tree is not Christian. Uh, things like putting lights up and uh, decorations were not Christian. Indeed, Christian tradition in terms of celebrating Christmas is much more solemn uh, and, uh, and much more reflective and much more, um, you, you know, uh, uh, it, much more focused on Jesus. And Christians... For the most part, the more Christian Christians have objected to the kind of commercialization um, and, and, uh, and, uh, and what do you call it, a, a conversion of Christianity into something that is uh, celebratory, uh, celebratory not just of Jesus but of life and something that is far more, uh, again, commercial and, 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 and uh, secular. The Christians are offended by that, and they still are to this day. I mean, uh, regularly, what you get is, "Oh, Christmas, it needs to be less commercial. We need to focus more on. We need to go to church. We need to do this." It doesn't work because Amer Americans still love the holiday for what it is. Uh, too much uh, for that uh, for that to actually happen. All right, Jonathan, thank you. As I said, Willa, thank you. Willa's done two. Uh, Jonathan did two. Willa did two. Stickers and Apollo uh, sticker. Thank you, John, for the super chat. Jason, uh, that's not a. That's not on topic. We'll get to that later. Um, that that that's way off. Way way off uh, topic. So uh, yeah, and I think I think you see some of the best of of. Um, American sense of life during Christmas. I think people are just more joyful. Uh, Christmas movies tend to be very joyous movies. Uh, they tend to emphasize again the the the, the positive and the benevolence and um, and again the, the kind of friendliness towards other people, which I think is generally prevalent in American society. Anyway, American society is a pretty benevolent society, uh, and. Uh, I think it comes from being free, from being a free society and a, and a, a kind of a, tr a tradition 
a freedom that kind of got, got embedded into the sense of life. But then in Christmas, everybody makes uh, an added effort uh, for, for, for that, for, for uh, the sake of Christmas. Andrew says, um, benevolence can be tough for objectivists to feel against the world in the realm of ideas, yet in reason, there are many opportunities for social benevolence. How can objectivists avoid feeling opposed to others? Well, I mean, I don't feel opposed to others. It's like, I know that objectivists do, but I don't. Uh, because I don't, I, I mean, too much of people's lives are focused on other people's politics and how they, uh, you know, and, and, the, and we all know the consequence of those politics are, are terrible. But I, I prefer to focus on something which I think is more fundamental to my relationship with people and to the fact that there's very little I can do about their politics. And also, I also know where the politics come from. That is, the politics are not the beginning, and they're not the beginning of somebody's intellectual path. They're not the decision they make, oh, I want to be a Luda. I, you know, they come from ideas, and I realize that to change ideas is going to take a long time. In the meantime, people's politics are going to be pretty crummy. And yes, they vote for horrible candidates that then I have to live with, and that pisses me off. So I could walk around being pissed off at humanity all day long. But I'd rather focus on the fact that most of the people out there um, are productive. Most of the people out there are, are, are doing productive things. And that productive activity actually benefits me directly and indirectly. Directly, the, the people who I, I, I buy stuff from, who I um, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, engage with in a commercial value-for-value value transactions, but who who uh, benefit my life directly. And, uh, you know, isn't it interesting in America, and, and this, I don't think this exists elsewhere quite to the same extent, that even when you buy something, and, and buying is, you know, you're giving up something, you're getting something, but you know that the party is, um, is better off, right? They made a profit, you made a profit. You still say thank you, uh, which, is an extent, which is an expression of the fact that I'm better off, and I appreciate that. And yeah, I know you were better off too, but, but thank you. Thank you for making me better off. I appreciate that. And they, of course, say thank you back to you. Because it is a win-win trading relationship. And the more win-win, and, and you should view the human beings around you in the context of there is an ongoing trade win-win relationship that, that is ongoing. Now, it's, it's subverted in politics, and we always have to keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, most people out there are traders, still. And as such, I benefit from them. And I'm particularly thankful to the people who I trade with uh, during this time of year. I, I, I don't know, I leave bigger tips. I, 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 I uh, emphasize the thank yous a little bit more and, and so on, I, I, you know, during Christmas. Uh, but, um, but I think we, we, you know, if you're benevolent, you do that all year round. So I think that's where a lot of people make an error is that their head is stuck in in politics, but it's broader than that. So let me let me try to broaden that a little bit. It's not just that it's political. People's head is stuck in all the negatives that are happening, right? You know, right now, I mean, there's a sense in which today it's difficult for me to talk about Christmas and benevolence and being happy and, and charitable and, and, uh, and um, uh, uh, appreciating other human beings and and all of that, while at the same time, there are soldiers fighting in Gaza right now and getting killed and, uh, and, and, and dying. And while the, the, you know, the, the dictators and the horrible people in the world are gaining the upper hand in various sections of the world. And, and while you know, our world is, is filled of people who are super you know, uh, uh, weak in defending the values that they sh of Christmas, right? The values that they should. Uh, you know, Jason reminds us it's a day of mourning in, in the Czech Republic right now. 
uh, because God, I mean, just the insanity the, 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 of, of what happened there the other day, and, and we know that's happened in the U.S., on, on occasion, uh, the, 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 the sheer existence of people like that, you know, sick, crazy nihilist who, who shot up those people in the Czech Republic, it's easy to focus on all those things. And, and you've got to focus on them periodically, and you've got to focus on them uh, 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 sometimes, and you've got to, you've got to acknowledge them, uh, figure them out, and, and at the same time, uh, um, at the same time, um, deal with them, right? You've got to figure it out. You've got to deal with them. You've got to handle them both in your own mind and to the extent that you can act in the world out there to change them. You've got to go out there and, and, and make changes and you've got to deal with it. And it, uh, a lot of what we do in the Owen Brook Show and a lot of what we do as human beings during the year is deal with those things. Deal with the horrors. Um, so, uh, um, so it's easy to continue and, and to spend one more day on that. And, but it's also good to spend some time generally in life. <laughs> all year, but then maybe focus a little bit more uh, during uh, this uh, part of the year and during this season uh, on uh, a benevolent interpretation or a ben the benevolent part or the good part of what's going on in the world. It is still true that particularly if you live in America and particularly if you live in parts of Western Europe, even in the Czech Republic, as horrible as what happened the other day there is, it is still true that we live in, if not, you know, materially the best time ever in all of human history to be alive, and in many other ways, one of the best, if not the best time to be alive. It, it, it's still an amazing time. It's still true that with 8 billion people on planet Earth, uh, the, the amount of good things that happen every day far exceeds the number of horrors that are happening. Uh, the, the fact is that, again, most people out there are... are um, what do you call it? Oh, uh, productive, producing, creating, building, making stuff, making stuff, right? So, um, yeah, uh, uh, it is, uh, it is a, uh, it is a, uh, it is a good time of year to stop, to get away from the news to get away from politics, to get away from that malevolence that might have crept into your mind, to get away from uh, the BS that's happening, uh, and, and, and to get away from the, your problems and your concerns and your angsts, and focus a little bit on the good in your life. Focus a little bit on how wonderful it is to be alive and how wonderful it is that the world uh, is the, the good parts of it are the way they are and, and how amazing it is. And yes, we'd like to be freer, but we're freer than people have almost free. You know, it's one of the freest period in all of human history, uh, particularly if you're a woman, let's say, particularly if you're a member of certain minorities, it's the freest you've ever been. And, uh, and, and uh, you have more opportunities than you ever have. Yes. There are constraints, there are restrictions, we're moving in the wrong direction, there are bad people out there, they're gaining an upper hand. You've got the rest of the year to think about that. Don't think about it now. Spend some time and maybe get into the habit, the mental habit of not focusing in on how bad things are constantly. And get into that mental habit, into a, 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 a habit of, of focusing on, on what's good in the life around you and what's positive. And um, focus on the people who do good things. 
right? Good things to you. Uh, the people who create and build and make and create the world as we know it and, uh, and uh, uh, have made your life better. Focus on those. Focus on your friends. Focus on your loved ones. And, and focus on the productive out there in the world. Right? All right. John wants to pick a fight. He's not going to let this go. Name a single recent historian who thinks Christians settled on 1225 as Jesus' birth because of Saturnalia or Sol Invictus. Uh, and he names three uh, historians. Um, I, I have none. Why, why is a recent historian better than a, a less recent historian? I mean, one, one of the phenomena of recent history is that all the Christian apologists are out there trying to tell us that the dark ages and the, uh, they were, were good times, you know, is that they weren't dark at all. So I, I'm a little suspicious of uh, modern historians, particularly ones who specialize in Christianity. I just read Dominion. It, it, it does not engender me with, uh, with uh, a lot of confidence in people's ability to evaluate the history of Christianity well. Uh, but no, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I, I'd have to go and do some research. Uh, but everything I know from everything I know about Christianity, Christianity is to, you know, it's, it's got some real innovation and, and much of else it's second handed. It's, it's a, it's a religion that picked up a lot of different things from, uh, it, you know, from the culture around it, which is not surprising. Uh, I'm not condemning it for that. And I have, I, I'm very skeptical that any historian can uh, actually figure out the day that Jesus was born. Um, anyway, it, it doesn't matter. A Dominion was not written by a Christian. Uh, but they have a hard time with Christianity. They, 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 they want and struggle to defend it. Anyway, um, I'll have to do my, uh, you know, history research to figure out when, Christ when uh, Christmas uh, was. But Christianity throughout its history has, has taken um, from other cultures. Uh, I'll have to find the, the, the historical book um, uh, that talked about this uh, that I read. But, uh, it, yeah, I mean, it, and it makes complete sense that it would. 